Title IX changes that are going to put pro non police in classrooms and, and uh, uh, allow force women to undress in front of biological males in their locker rooms. And then today, uh, businesses are told, listen, you're going to be found guilty of harassment now under the Biden definition if you go ahead and don't use preferred pronouns or don't let a person use the bathroom of their choice. Are, are Americans ready for these sort of policies? I don't think so. And, uh, you know, this is interesting what's happening, uh, not just uh, these changes with the Biden administration, with uh, with the protests. And, and we're really testing our First Amendment. And the First Amendment is, is an amazing document because it's able to capture so many different ideas and concepts and it's been interpreted uh, by so many. But forcing people to use you know pronouns, in my view of the First Amendment, is what's called compelled speech. And the freedom of speech prohibits the government from telling people what say. It's like they can't tell you you have to say the Pledge of Allegiance or stand for the flag. Uh, and so forcing someone to actually use pronouns that they don't choose to use and then holding your employer liable to me is going to have First Amendment problems. And EEOC always goes down bad paths and, and also ends up being those get, end up getting rolled back when it comes to litigation. So uh, from that perspective, I think that's uh, that's going to be a non-starter and it's going to really hurt our business community. Secondly, you know, obviously, uh, I love that uh, we have Riley Gaines out there taking a stand for women's sports. I yeah. signed on to the women's uh, women's bill of rights to make sure that we don't have biological males competing in women's sports. I was a woman athlete and uh, I know how this is just totally unfair. I played a lot of sports. I played basketball. There are a couple of sports where women that I played that probably men and women can play in. And then one of those is equestrian and the other one is curling. So you could probably allow uh, some type of uh, you know crossover there, but not in sports where the size and, and the determination of, of, of uh, strength uh, and, and actually the danger to women would be a problem as well.